Hello everybody and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I'm happy to be back with another news video. Today is the 17th of June 2024. I'm going to give you all of the latest Liverpool news along with some bits and pieces about the Euros of course because that has kicked off and that is in full swing. I hope you enjoy the content. If you haven't already please leave a like on the video and on my other videos would be perfect and if you haven't please consider subscribing to the channel. That makes a massive difference. We're slowly getting there. 170 subscribers. Really appreciate every single one of you. And I'm looking to have more people join the SAS. So let's get in to the video. So first off, I mentioned in my last video about Alan Hansen, the former Liverpool skipper, who was hospitalized with a serious illness. Some good news regarding that, apparently Graham Sinness has had a conversation with him and it's sounding positive, it sounds like he will make a full recovery. So that's absolutely excellent news of course. I just wanted to bring you that update to, regarding Alan Hansen's health. So first I'm going to have to start off with the Euros. Of, of course the opening night was massive Germany with a massive win against Scotland 5-1. Then with, you know, we've seen the likes of Spain play, Italy play, England played yesterday, Denmark. It is in full swing. Um, I'm going to have to get into England though. Like I said, that is my team, England. I was born there, so I'm, I'm going to be following them. And they were just terrible. I mean, we're supposed to be favourites for this tournament. Favourites for what? Definitely not this tournament. Harry Kane looks past it and has done in all of the friendlies and in yesterday's game as well. Um, Foden doesn't look like the Foden we've seen in... For City at all, he pretty much single-handedly won them the title this season with some of his performances. Saka was outstanding first half, but then died a death in the second. Don't know what that is. But our boy Trent in midfield, I think it's a, a wise idea having him in midfield when you've got the likes of Walker there, because that takes the defensive responsibility away from Trent. Again, he's going to come under a lot of criticism because, well, you know, England fans are a bit diabolical. But it was good to see him play and, again, just... The creative side of his game is just it's just great to watch. Um, Trippier playing at left back. Um, it's just so confusing watching England. Foden on the left. It's it's just so strange. Players playing out of position. A bit worrying that first game was absolutely terrible against a Serbia side that were well. You know, if you want to be winning the competitions, you have to go beating the teams. I know it's three points, a one nil win. Fair enough, but. I don't think they're favourites for anything. And if you want a prediction, I think they'll get knocked out in the quarterfinal. So next up, another one of Liverpool's men, Cody Gakpo, with a man of the match performance against Poland. Got the goal as well to equalise. And yeah, just a great performance all round. Um, they came back from 1-0 down to win 2-1. Cody Gakpo at the heart of it and looks absolutely incredible coming in from that left hand side which i've been saying for months great to see him uh, again just gaining that momentum he's really towards the end of the season he really picked up and on that left hand side we've got a, we've got a special player there can't wait to get him back in a liverpool shirt and start this season and one final bit of news before i get into the rumor mill and that is that john Akterberg is reuniting with steven gerrard in the saudi pro league with steven gerrard's team He's going to, of course, he's the goalkeeper coach, so he's going to go over there and be the goalkeeper coach and working alongside Steven Gerrard again. So the final segment of this video is going to be probably the bit that you've all come here for. You know, my thumbnail probably explained it. The tagline probably explained it. It's going to be the rumor mill, of course. I'm going to go through everything that Liverpool has been linked with. Lenny Yoro is a little bit of news that's been going around. The centre-back from Lille, I think he's 18 years old, maybe 19 years old supposed to be the next best thing Liverpool looking to get him for around 50 million apparently he's come out and said he doesn't want anything other than Real Madrid so that's going to be the end of that and everybody is fully expecting him to go to Real Madrid for in the region of around 60 million euro that's that Liverpool we I think we can consider I think we can consider ourselves out of the race for that and that's okay because there is other targets more importantly um, for us and I also I don't don't think we should be spending 60 million on an 18 year old they're not mature enough to be playing consistently for such an elite club. We've seen it before. Um, and 60 million for an 18 year old is absolutely bonkers. I mean, if he's worth 60 million, what's Connor Bradley worth? Answer me that. Um, Queeving Kelleher, we're looking for 20 million. I mean, 
Next up, Liverpool are looking to eye up Johan Bakayoko. He's going to be playing today for Belgium, actually. Um, I think it's the, the middle kickoff, the five o'clock kickoff. Um, yeah, right winger. Young, he's 21 years old. Apparently worth in the region of about 45 million euro. And yes, this is supposedly the audition for slots Liverpool, basically, to see if he's going to be any good and worthwhile, you know, acquiring for the Liverpool team and Liverpool set up. So there's probably going to be more develop over the course of the next few weeks as regards to him. But apparently he's seen as a, well, he's a right winger. So maybe a future replacement for Salah if Salah stays this season or maybe he's going to go straight in there um, if Salah does leave this season. So we'll see. But of course, there'll be more on that. Again, another piece of news. Well, it's not really news. I brought it to you about a week ago and it's regards to Liverpool's interest in Danny Olmo, the attacker midfielder who's currently at RB Leipzig. Again, just Liverpool are interested in him. That news is circling around again. I don't know, trying to get a bit of traction. I just don't understand this bit of news at all. He was brought in by Leipzig to replace Dominic Soboslai, who went to Liverpool. So if you've already got the one player from that position that you want from that team, why would you go back and get their replacement for that position from that same team? It just doesn't make any sense. Another bit of news is the fact that Slot actually sees the defence as a major priority for reinforcements this year. So the interest surrounding Gonzalo Inacio from Sporting, the centre-back, and they see him as a high priority, uh, high priority target for Liverpool. So maybe we'll see a deal for him in the coming weeks. I know it's a bit difficult with the, the international competitions being on the Copa America and the Euros. We probably won't see many deals being done for the next four weeks or so. If we do see any news, I'll bring it to you straight away. The next player on the list is Edison, the Atalanta defensive midfielder. Again, he plays a number six, he could play a number eight. I think he'd be an amazing addition to Liverpool. The rumours of a, an opening bid for £38 million, they weren't true, I don't believe, but apparently an opening bid is imminent. He's, he, he's come out and said that basically his, his priority is with the international team. Just let him get on with his work. But if the right offer comes in, he's definitely looking for a move. And finally, now this is going to be a big bit of news if this happens. I just don't see it because I just don't see us spending this sort of money on a player. I said it last in the last video about Rodrigo and uh, Kvaric Gellia. And who was the other one? There was another one. I can't remember, 102 million, I remember, I can't remember his name. Again, the rumour mill, I do forget things because there's just so much stuff out there that's not worth listening to, but this, I'm going to bring it to you again, I, like I said, I don't see it happening, but Liverpool are interested or have joined the race for Florian Wirtz from Bayer Leverkusen. Again, he's, he's 21 years old, he's an attacker midfielder, and I've just been online to look up his price tag and it would be about 130 million euro. Again, I don't see Liverpool play uh, I don't see Liverpool paying that sort of money. I just it's just not what we do. We don't spend that sort of money unless the owners want to be like, yeah, no, we're gonna back slot as much as possible and we want to prove that to the fans. So here you go. No, I, that's not gonna happen. So of course it'd be an outstanding addition to the team. It'd be an outstanding addition to any team but I really just don't see that one happening for Liverpool it just goes against what we do and against like, all of our policies one final bit of news and that is regarding an outgoing and it is Luis Diaz again he is popping up all over the news so I think we can actually nearly say that he probably is going to be moving because it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere apparently his price tag has been cut Liverpool valued him at 120 to 140 million euro However, that was well out of Barcelona's finances, but apparently that's been cut and Liverpool only want to make a profit on him. Um, I don't, again, I don't see how that's a good business minded thing, which is what our American owners are all about, is about being a well-run business. So if your player's worth 120 million, why would you sell him for? 50 million is apparently the price tag Liverpool have put on him, which is, reignited Barcelona's hopes of trying to sign him. So yes, Liverpool have decided that they're going to take less than half of what they had initially wanted. It makes no sense to cut the price by more than half. And why 
just why would you? It just makes no sense. So that's the end of the rumor mill. And that's going to be the end of the video. Thanks again, everybody who tuned in. I really appreciate yous. And again, if you haven't already, leave a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because these videos I do two a week. And there's also going to be a few live streams. I do want to apologize about my live stream for the England game. I had technical issues. For some reason, it just would not connect. I'll be putting up a few polls as well as to what games you want me to do live streams for. Again, get ready for them and please vote in them. And yeah, have your say on how you'd like the content to go. So thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Until next time, up the fucking reds.